Welcome to another free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you a little bit about how Access controls time by calculating time differences. Now, time in Access is easy if you simply keep this rule in mind. One day equals one. Half a day or 12 hours equals 0.5 or one half. Okay, so two days or seven days, for example, is seven. So keep that in mind as we're doing this example. Now I have a simple employee time clock table. I've got an employee ID, so I know who it is, the time in and time out. This is simply a date time field. I've got the date and time together, right? January 1st, 9 a.m., time out, January 1st, 5 p.m. I want to calculate how many hours they worked. Now, you can't do calculations in a table. You can only put them in a query, so let's build a query. I'll go to Queries and then New, Design View, What Table, I want to bring in my Time Clock Table and hit Close. Let's bring in Employee ID, Time In, and Time Out. I need to make another calculated field over here. Now, if you don't know how to make calculated fields, I've got a whole separate lesson on them. There is a free lesson on them in my Tips and Tricks lesson on the website. Okay. That's how to make calculated query fields. But I'm going to type in here hours worked colon time out minus time in. All right, let's just sim simply subtract time in, which should be less than time out. Let's run the query and look at this. I'm getting a fraction of a day over here, which is perfect, right? I would expect that. If I worked a whole day, this should be one. In fact, let's try that. If I change this here, let's say this person came in at 9 a.m. on January 1st and left on 1-2 at 9 a.m. Look at that. Hours worked actually shows up as a 1. Okay? We're going to change this in a minute. Don't worry. Okay? If I change this to 1-1 one, one at 9 p.m., that should be 1 half or 0.5. Perfect. So all I have to do is multiply this value by how many hours are in a day, right? Take this whole thing, put parentheses around it, look, just basic math times 24. All right, now when I run it, oh, look at that, beautiful. Now, access isn't perfect, okay? Sometimes these guys need to be rounded off. See that? 5.5000000012. Little errors kind of creep in sometimes when you're working with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole thing and round it off. Okay, watch this. I'm going to take this whole thing here. I'm going to say round and then another set of parentheses, this whole thing, comma, to let's say two decimal places. Okay, that's the round function. Take that big long number, round it off to two decimal places, and there we go. Perfect. This guy worked 12 hours, this guy worked five and a half hours, this guy worked nine hours, and so on. Okay, now you can go the opposite direction too. You can take a time in if you want to figure out what their time out was based on their hours worked. Let's say you're typing in their hours worked. You can say, give me a value, and then add 9 to it. That'll give you 9 hours. Okay? So let's say in here, hypothetically, I want to figure out when their end of shift should have been. Their end of shift should have been their time in plus 8 hours. Now, how do you say 8 hours? Plus 8 divided by 24. That's how you say 8 hours. Right? It's 8 24ths of a day. Sure, you can simplify that down math-wise, but that's easier to read. All right, if I run this now, look at this. That's when their end of shift should have been. All right, if this guy came in at 9 o'clock, he should have been leaving at 5. Right, if he came in at 10 a.m., he should have been leaving at 6 p.m., and so on. I simply added 8 24ths to a day. Let's say you want to add a week. Just type it, just let's be crazy here. Let's add 7 to it. That should add 7 days to the time they came in. Right, this guy came in on 1 1 2008. 1 8 is the end of his shift hypothetically, just to teach you how to work with these dates, right? So if I add 30, that's adding 30 days, roughly a month. Yes, there are whole calculations and functions and stuff for adding months. You know, if you want to go from January 1st to February 1st, that's a little bit beyond what I'm going to cover in this lesson. This is simply for working with hours and days, all right? Weeks are seven, okay? But if you need to get more exact, there are other functions you can use. But this should get you started. And this is an easy way for calculating the difference between two dates or times, for example. 
Now I cover lots more about working with time and access in my classes on my website, accesslearningzone.com, question mark GOAC206. That'll take you to Access 206, where I cover a lot about time. I talk more in detail about how to work with seconds and minutes and hours and dates and stuff like that. I also have other visual basic lessons on my website. We cover for functions like the date diff function and some neat date related stuff on there too. So visit the website if you want to learn more about working with time and dates in Access. And of course lots of free tips and tricks in my tips section accesslearningzone.com tips for lots more free tutorials just like this one.